We want to show you some of the new ways highly organized crime rings are stealing at the supermarket. Billions of dollars every year. Some companies are even hiring undercover detectives who could be pretending to shop right alongside you. ABC's Nick Watt takes us down the aisles. A guy in Texas wearing a suit, swiping a tray of diabetic test strips. Total value, $1,000. These women somehow got a hold of keys to display cases. I'm amazed every time now they can come in a store within anywhere from four to five minutes and walk out with anywhere from $400 to $2,000 worth of merchandise. When a shoplifter walks out that door for Jerry Biggs and his team, that's when the games begin. They are the James Bonds of retail crime, armed with tracking devices, radios, and hidden cameras. These are visor cams. It's mounted here, goes 360. A shoplifter might think when he's out the door he's in the clear. Not so. With today's technology, I can have your face throughout the country in less than 10 minutes. Pins in the map mark shoplifting hotspots. This costs the retail sector more than $30 billion every year. It's just like a, a, a Fortune 500 company. All this is just organized. PIs like Biggs, who operates out of a secret warehouse in Indiana, and Mike Sweat, this is Mike. whose beat is the streets of LA, they bust open the gangs and help lead overstretched police departments to their prey. Everything from meat to razors, to milk. Um, milk? Yeah, you name it. Sometimes we get rings that just do alcohol. And then we get some that do, do meat and seafood. Today's target, two stores openly selling stolen clothes and perfume. Undercover agents move in to see what's on sale. All that down here is Victoria's Secrets. Expensive Victoria's Secrets. It's not rip-off stuff, it's not counterfeit. Genuine but cut price Katy Perry perfume right there. The list price is 90 bucks. She's selling it for 59. She probably paid 10 for it. For Mike's wet, right, that's, that's brown. two down, but many, many more to go. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles.